Hi, this is Jane Ratliff with Blue Hair Technology. Today we're going to talk about the difference between the Kindle and how you can get newspapers and books on the Kindle versus the Apple iPad and using the iBooks application to get newspapers and books. So let's start with the Kindle. This is a Kindle Fire and when you are on your home page of the Kindle Fire it's pretty straightforward how you go to the newsstand or the books. Actually across the top you have a category called newsstand and you have a category called books. So we're just going to go ahead and tap on books and when you tap on books you immediately see any books that you may have in your library. But then you also can immediately tap on store. And store will actually bring you to the store where you can buy or borrow some books. So now we're in the Kindle Books store where we can download books to our Kindle. And you can see that you have featured lists, you have recommendations for you. If you've purchased book before, books before, they will recommend books. You can scroll and see all the different categories of books. It categorizes it by your bestsellers, Kindle Daily Deals, those are always good to look at, Kindle Selects, etc. You can also tap on Library and it takes you back to your own library just in case you forgot what you already had. So pretty st straightforward again, you just basically go into books, you tap on the store, and within the store you're going to be taken immediately to all of the Kindle books that are available to you to download. So now let's look at the iPad, iBooks, and see what the differences might be. So here I'm looking at my purchased books. This is like my bookshelf. So this is what I've purchased. And again, you have a store item or a store icon, just like you did with the Kindles. You're going to tap on store. And you're going to be taken immediately into Apple's store where you can buy all of the books that they have available to you. It's going to look a lot like your app store. You have your categories across the top, your all categories, fiction, nonfiction. You always can tap the more button where you can see many, many more categories of books. Tap that to remove it. Across the top are some of the headline ones that they want you to look at. Scrolling down again, just like the App Store, you're going to see all of the books available to you. Across the bottom, remember across the bottom you are in, you have different categories to select from. I'm in Featured right now. If you tap on New York Times, it will actually give you a list of the New York Times bestsellers, both, both fiction and nonfiction. Top charts, the top charts of the week, both paid books and free books, which is wonderful. Top authors is another category that you can go to, and it will give you a list of the top authors. And then over here at the very end, if you wanted to, you could select the Purchased button to see what books you've purchased. And we'll just tap back to Featured. And you always can come up here to do a search as well. I'll tap back to the library. This brings me back my library book. So that's the difference between selecting books on the Kindle in the Kindle Store and selecting books in iBooks from Apple. You'll find them both to be very user friendly and you'll be able to find a huge selection of books available to you. I'm Jane Ratliff and that is the difference between the Kindle Bookstore and the Apple Bookstore. Thank you.